Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Lee Warren, and I'm teaching the 10th grade chemistry and 11th grade physics laboratories at Montford this year. I apologize I'm not able to meet with you in person tonight, but I do look forward to getting to know you one-on-one -on -one over the coming weeks and at our upcoming open house next month. Also a shout out to my students, it was great meeting you all for the first time last week and I'm looking forward to a great year. For those of you who haven't met me yet, I'm a faculty member at Mercy College and I've been teaching chemistry and physics in the Westchester area for about 10 years. This summer, I worked with Montford's president, the Honorable Richard Greco, to update the science laboratory and purchase new equipment for use across all our laboratory courses. And this fall, we've launched new chemistry and physics laboratory courses to provide more in-depth opportunities for hands-on experimentation and discovery and to better prepare Montford's graduates for college-level science coursework. This year at Montford, we offer two sections of Chemistry Lab and two sections of Physics Lab on Tuesdays. And I'm asking for your help, participation, and support as we roll out and continue to improve our laboratory experiences. I have about 20 experiments planned for this year for Chemistry and Physics. In Chemistry, we'll cover the basics of weighing, density, and chemical reactions, as well as investigations of the effectiveness of sunscreens, properties of food dyes, the kinetics of glow sticks, and the separation of colors in Kool-Aid. In physics, we'll take a deep, data-rich exploration of motion, forces, heat, gases, fluids, springs, pendulums, sound waves, light, and magnetism. In both courses, we'll also design and conduct original experiments to investigate important questions about the physical world. Significant class time this year will be spent engaging in experimentation and data collection exercises and in interpreting and evaluating experimental results. A key focus of this year in both courses is on the process of the scientific method and skills of scientific thinking. Course documents for both courses will be available in the shared OneDrive folders and include copies of the course syllabi, safety agreements, rubrics, worksheets, and assignments. I've also created groups in Outlook for each course section that I will use to send out important reminders and other items. Students should have already received a link to the shared OneDrive folder in an email last week. For weekly preparation, I ask that students review the corresponding PowerPoints for chemistry and worksheets for physics in advance of the day of the lab, and that they be familiar with the various terms and equations either outlined in the experiment materials or in the course textbook. In these laboratory courses, students are also expected to keep a laboratory notebook recording information and observations about experiments, as well as notes and ideas as they review important concepts and experiments both in and out of class. This year we'll also build scientific communication skills through periodic written laboratory reports and oral presentations. Rubrics for these will be made available in advance of the assignments, and major due dates for lab reports and oral presentations will be posted in TeamUp. More details regarding grading and assignment weighting can be found in the course syllabus. I look forward to working with all of you and I welcome any feedback, questions, or concerns that you might have. The best way to reach me is by email at lwarren at themontfordacademy.org. And we can set up a time to meet in person or talk by phone. Thank you all for your support of laboratory learning at the Montford Academy.